Okay, so first stop is the furthest property we own. It's the new house that you guys have not seen yet. It's where Shannon and her son live. And the signs on the gate don't give it away. She has donkeys. Um, kind of my fault to start with. We took in all those rescue donkeys and she helped take care of them, fell in love with them. And now she's a donkey fanatic. So when we bought this property, it was a little bit cleared. There was an RV out here, but um, we've put up all the fencing and um, the house itself, of course, and all of the plumbing and electric and everything. And it took start to finish probably, I wanna say eight-ish months. Um, we were anticipating and we were told to expect closer to like four, uh, but that's how these things go. So here's some of the donkeys. And then just through this tree line is where my mom lives. In addition to donkeys, she also has ducks. And this is their super fancy little coop. They're very spoiled ducks uh, and dogs. Donkeys, ducks, and dogs. <laughs> she has cats too, but we won't see them. Uh, so this is the duck coop. And they have their little house. And then of course, um, a big run and then a duck pool. Coming off of that, so you're looking at the back of the house now, and she has the big dog yard for her two Great Danes. And then there's this huge open pasture that the donkeys are in. Uh, and this was part of the space that was already cleared, thankfully, uh, there was quite a bit. So it made it easy. All we had to do was the perimeter fence line, basically. There was also this run-in shed already, which was very convenient. Although the donkeys hardly ever use it. <laughs> it's nice that it was already here. I'm gonna speed you up a little bit uh, cause we're just gonna go on a quick walk all through this back property. This parcel is a total of about 15 acres and a lot of it is still heavily treed and so we don't have access to it, but this is the part that's been cleared. And what I really love about it is that there's all these different alleyways almost where they've left a lot of outcroppings of trees and everything too. So it's still pretty and private and it has a lot of shade, but it also has big, pretty open pasture spaces. And so I think it's, it's just ideal for animals. I think it's ideal for anybody. Um, it's really, yeah, kind of serene back in here. Now we're back in the backyard, uh, so with the dog yard and everything. So this house was the one um, I talk about in another video, but it was an older model manufactured home that basically needed a complete redo. And we found a company that specializes in that. So it meant we didn't have to get on one of the super, super long wait lists right now for a new manufactured home. And it meant we weren't paying the price of a new manufactured home because if you are in the housing market right now, you know everything is so expensive and everything sells so fast and everything is back ordered. So while this solution wasn't perfect, I think all in all, it turned out pretty well. So here we are leaving her house and heading down the road to my mother's house. Um, so this is all the fencing that we strung up here. And pulling into farm number two. I will add the disclaimer here. <laughs> Both, I think all of us actually just want to say it's all a work in progress, but that's just how farms are. It's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be things we need to move around or fix or whatever, but it's the life. Uh, if you guys remember, I posted a video of this property when we first bought it and what it looked like. And I think considering that uh, it's come such a long way and it's actually really pretty. I think it's like the perfect quaint little farmhouse. So. 
come around the side here, huge pasture space that eventually we'll be fencing in. Uh, and then around back, we have this super awesome big battle barn that is amazing for storage. Oh, and there's mom. She doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Uh, and then there's a run-in building here also. Always love that. So the animals have some shelter. And then we come up through here very carefully. And we have the fence line that we just finished putting up for some of the rescue horses and cows that my mom helps take care of here. This is the backyard and the dog fencing. We're working on replacing it all with like the privacy fence that you see through there. We put that up um, so eventually, but right now it's a nice big yard. All of the roosters. <laughs> She's the unofficial rooster rescue. <laughs> and then you guys will probably recognize some of these guys. And then we've got the chicken coop, which was already here also. Fantastic. And there's a dog in the yard. That's Duncan. You guys know him. We rescued him. He's a good farm dog, but he likes to chase the ATV. <laughs> uh, this, we're not entirely sure how to use it yet. It was left here. I think they had a bunch of different chickens in it or something, but part of it's definitely a teardown. However, I feel like there's got to be some use for it. With all the random animals we take in, you just never know. So eventually we'll rehab that project. Among some of the big projects that we have for here, um, putting up the fencing along this side, putting up the round pen, building a big run area for the chickens. We're gonna do a stock tank pool. Uh, there's just, there's a lot of big things coming for this farm in particular that my mom has been planning, but we had to wait till she was here full time. And then of course she broke her arm and then I'm pregnant. And so, you know, <laughs> one project at a time, but I think, yeah when we compare it to the old footage uh it's really nice to see how much progress we have made so this is hers and i love the crepe myrtles lining her driveway they're so pretty all right leaving moms so the next piece of land that we'll get to is the 80 acres which currently is all vacant. Um, it's probably the land that my sister will ultimately develop on. But for right now, it's just a big heavily wooded piece of land that wraps around the farm that I live on. So this is the one side of it. And then when we go around the curve up here, we will reach my home, but not without a random Highland cow sighting first. This is our very, very temporary fence line. Please don't judge. It's not well done, but we need to wait until this is a little more cleared to put up the permanent fence line. So it's what we're dealing with. And then here we are at the start of my property. And so we have both sides of the road starting here. So the horse pasture is on my right and then the house and other land is on the left. And of course the amazing barn that Ben built for me is right here. We've got several pastures all kind of cross fenced and divided. Uh, we put up those middle fencing. That you may remember the video about that. And then over there you can see some of the goats and donkeys and emus and all of that in that pen. And then you can see a Hodor waiting like a good boy at the gate. This is my house. If it's your first time watching, it's a 200 year old farmhouse. Uh, this is the future hay barn that Ben is currently building all by himself. And then over there is the old barn for the horses that hopefully we will get around to redoing at some point in time. Um, so this is all my front yard. You can see the pergola and the greenhouse. And then here is the privacy fence for kind of the big dog area. Um, and then here is the huge pasture that we cleared that we're ready to permanently fence once we get the time and the materials. <laughs> So that is all ours. And then just past it in this tree line is where the 80 acres starts again. So it makes like a giant rainbow shape basically around our farm and comes out along the roadside on both sides. 
So this is all that. It's a lot of land to work with. It's a little overwhelming, but I think give it a few years and when it's all cleared and fenced, it's gonna be incredible. In case you're wondering, across the street is just that. Absolute nothingness. <laughs> Dirt road and nothing, and I love it. All right, so we'll go on a quick little loop all around this property. Uh, if you've already seen it, it probably looks a little different than the last time I showed you. So that is the front yard, which is where a lot of the little rescue dogs are and the little pigs and everything. Um, and then over here, yeah, it's kind of our little animal, I guess, pasture. It's a, a whole collection of animals live over there. Over here, you have the rabbit, pen, and chicken coop. I have videos about both of those. And then the old barn that was here when we got here, uh, which we've been slowly uh, updating. Over there, you have part of the pig fence and then the big pasture out back that goes out to the pond where the cows and some of the donkeys. We have the bird aviaries down here. We have our garden, one of our lawnmowers. <laughs> and then we have the um, buildings down here for the reptile house and the mammal house. Tour's coming, I swear, I swear. Uh, and then this is the big dog yard right here and their big shelter. There's actually some goats in there as well at the moment clearing it. Uh, up here is like our side yard. It's all fenced off and it has the patio, pergola, and former slash future pool. <laughs> and across from that is the incredible garden that Ben built for me. And we are getting it all ready for spring, clearing weeds and everything. And that's the pergola he built. So going through the back gate, heading out towards the pond, uh, this is our wood scrap pile, <laughs> which is very useful even though it's hideous. This is a dog, he's a good farm dog. He's gonna lead the way. So this is all of the back property right now. Um, this is where the cows live and some of the rescued donkeys. It's so pretty back here. I feel like we live in a park <laughs> every time I come out here. Uh, so you've got the pond, the dock, the gazebo, the dog. And then we have this nice little bridge. Drive across this and you get to kind of the back pasture land. Uh, we just actually did this fencing last weekend. Added electric because if you guys have watched the videos, we have a Highland cow that will jump absolutely any other fence. So we had to run electric all over it. Okay, so that was a super, super fast tour of all of our property at the moment. Uh, it's all, like I said, a work in progress. I'm sure in another year I could do a full tour and everything would be different and better and upgraded, but I thought it might be nice to kind of give you an idea of what the Wild Thing Sanctuary Farm looks like right now. And now we are gonna follow these donkeys up to the barn. Thank you.